Pasta bakes are great for feeding a family and for this recipe it's super super quick. It's all about using really really good ingredients. So we're going to talk about the meatballs. So this is the Irish Angus meatballs here and this is the Bourbier quality mark. So this is that lovely Irish Angus beef from Ballinrobe Jennings Butchers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally seal these off here. So there's 12 in a pack here. Okay, now, hot pan, a little bit of rapeseed oil. And just, we're going to seal them because it's going to give lovely flavor, a nice bit of color to the dish. So let the pan get nice and hot. Now just very carefully just put them in. Just open the pack there. And we're just literally gonna seal them on both sides. Yeah. Now, one more there. Perfect. Okay, there we go. That's them all out. So we're gonna seal them off. We're not gonna cook them fully. We're gonna put a little bit of butter into the pan just to give lovely flavor and color. So I'll flip them over in a moment. This is really, really quick. Uh, I pre-cooked pasta and the pasta I'm using is the conchigli only. So these are the large pasta shells. So the bronze dye pasta. And what the bronze dye means, everyone, is that if you look at the lines, it's the texture. So this is produced in a village just outside Naples. I went to meet the producer, PGI, Protected Geographical Indication, and I have that cooked for about 12 minutes. So they're nearly cooked, but they're not fully cooked, if you know what I mean. Cold water to refresh them, so they're blanched off. Now you can do this recipe with uh, penne pasta, but this is a lovely one, and it's a great one for feeding the family. So we're just gonna literally turn over the meatballs. So just seal them in here. And then we're going to just let them brown a little bit more. I don't wanna cook them fully. They're gonna be baked off in the oven. Okay, turn down the heat there. So that's our pasta done. Now refreshing means when they're cooked, or nearly cooked, uh, run cold water, so they're completely cold. I wanna show you um, my new uh, oven to tableware. So this is the round roaster here. That is uh, perfect for going into the oven, put it into the microwave, oven safe, dishwasher safe, and it's a lovely dish. So this is the square one I'm gonna use, and the round one. So for serving vegetables, you could even do a lasagna, that shepherd's pie, all those kind of things, fish pie. They're really, really beautiful. I'm so happy with them. So they're what we've recently launched, part of the cookware collection. This is a really delicious tomato sauce, and it's a tomato mascarpone pasta sauce. And it's made in Puglia. I'm gonna switch off now the meatballs. And it's a really clean, there's no added, there's no added sugar. So all that's in it is just tomato pulp, mascarpone cheese, Italian tomato paste, extra virgin olive oil, some onion, there's carrots in this. So this is great getting vegetables into your children's diet, a little bit of sea salt and some black pepper. So we're gonna pop this in here to empty the whole jar out. Now you can use the regular uh, basil and tomato sauce. And what you can do with that is you can just literally stir in some mascarpone cheese. You know, the simply better one, there's no sugar in that one. So this spread that out. And then what we're gonna do is just arrange just the pasta shells. So we're gonna try and kind of fill them and kind of squeeze them all together. If you just see the way I'm doing that. So remember when you blanch off the pasta, you're more or less cooking it to be honest with you. And then what we do is just literally run cold water. So that's what you call to refresh the pasta. Again, you can do this with some penne pasta, which work really well with this. But I really like these large shells, conchiglioni. I remember when I, when, when I first um, started my work with Simply Better, I couldn't pronounce this, so conchiglioni. So I, I'm afraid uh, my Italian is not the best at the best of times, but I do love their food. And this is a lovely, simple recipe that I think you'll really enjoy at home. So see the way I'm just kind of filling all the little spaces there in my nice new dish. So we already have one done because it'll take about 20 minutes in the oven. I'll put one more there for luck. Okay. Right, let's get our meatballs. So we're gonna just literally arrange them so they're still raw, just literally seal them off just uh, in the pan. And we're gonna pour, pour all these lovely juices, a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, just on top of the pasta. So just arrange it, it's very simple. Very rustic, but full of flavor. And a great way, as I say, for feeding the family. We love these kind of recipes. So all that lovely butter and oil, just literally drizzle that all over. We don't like to waste anything. Okay, next, we're going to put some roasted red peppers. So these are the roasted red peppers. They're cooked over um, char grills, and they're stored in extra virgin olive oil. 
really, really excellent product. Lovely pasta if you're cooking fish, if you're making a lovely sauce for yours. They are just delicious. We love these with some chorizo and some prawns. And then just the chopped peppers, a little bit of basil, a little bit of lemon. So gorgeous and smoked paprika. So tasty. So I've just chopped the yellow and the red. Both colors are in the jar. And then just sprinkle that all over there. Now if your children don't like peppers, you can leave it out. Don't worry about that. You could put in some peas and sweet corn, but I think the peppers are nicer. You could put in a little cherry tomato so you can mix it up. So this is some of the Simply Better mozzarella, which we've just literally diced into some cubes. So this is with buffalo milk. So we're just going to literally arrange that, just kind of pushing them in there. So you can see how quick this is. You pick up, you get your nice little uh, meatballs, seal them off, blanch off your pasta. And literally this is going to go into the oven now in a minute. Some lovely fresh basil pesto. You've seen me using this in so many of my videos. I really love it. And it's a really lovely fresh basil pesto. So we're going to drizzle this all over here. So you've lots of lovely flavor. You have those roasted peppers, the basil, that lovely creamy tomato sauce. It's going to be so tasty. I'm going to grate some of the Parmesan cheese. So this is the 30 um, month age Parmesan just over this. And at this stage, the way I have this one done now, you can leave this in the fridge, cover it in cling film, and then just take it out 20 minutes and pop it into the oven. So I already have one done in the oven. It takes literally about 20 minutes or thereabouts. And you're just going to finish off. You're just literally warming through the pasta. You're warming through that really nice um, sauce and you're cooking through the meatballs. So take it out of the fridge, but this is going to go straight in. I already have one done. So the great thing about these dishes is that they can go to the oven up to 220 degrees. As I say, they can be put into the dishwasher. Great for little pies, for um, you know, for, for something like this. They're perfect. So I'm just going to bring this over, pop this in, and then we'll just show you this one here. So 200 degrees was the temperature of the oven, and that's a fan oven. And I'm just going to use my trivet. A lot of people have been commenting on the trivet, you know. So this is the trivet here. It's a silicone trivet. So if anything comes hot out of the oven, use this. Because if I put it onto the wood here, it's going to literally stay in the wood. So you don't want that. So this one here, just wash it in soapy water. Um, and it's just a great, it doesn't take up much room. It's a great little piece. So I'm not going to uh, serve this up. I'm just going to leave it like that. You can just melt it, take a nice little kind of shot of that. And I think there's just really lovely flavor. And if you wanted to, because we have some of this lovely extra virgin olive oil, you can drizzle a little bit of that over it. The flavor in that, guys, don't waste that. It's so delicious. And you get that lovely roasted red peppers. So with that, you can serve a salad. Just eat it as it is, whatever you want to. But I think this will be a great family pleaser and a recipe that all the family will enjoy. So that's my um, Irish meatballs with an Italian twist using the Conchiglione pasta, that lovely creamy mascarpone tomato sauce, the mozzarella, parmesan, and those roasted red peppers. So enjoy this recipe. Thank you.